The crowds are returning to downtown Seattle in levels not seen since the pandemic. A count of foot traffic from late May shows that hundreds of thousands made their way to the downtown area. Fox 13's Jennifer Dowling talked to the Downtown Seattle Association and has some more details on the count. And what's bringing people back to the Emerald City? Jen? Good afternoon. Well, sporting events and concerts are currently big draws downtown. And just this past weekend, there was a Luke Combs concert and a New Kids on the Block concert that brought people to the Emerald City. There seems to be a lot of people out and about. As the rain cleared Sunday, crowds hit the streets. It's nice to have corners where you're standing and you're having a basically a traffic jam on a corner trying to cross uh, rather than it being a ghost town. The Bloxhams were in town for the Luke Combs concert at Lumen Field. Sold out concert. It poured, but it was beautiful. Probably the craziest thing I've seen as far as how much it was pouring and how much fun everyone was having. We're going to go enjoy the oyster. Yeah, meeting a friend for oysters at the Oyster House. Yeah, we can live back tonight. Christy Faulkner and Carrie Grummans flew in from California and Connecticut for the new Kids on the Block concert this weekend. Felt like I was 14 again. <laughs> Screaming. Yeah, yeah, it was time. really nice. And this family was enjoying the rain and the waterfront before their cruise to Alaska. It's very cool here in um, back home. It's like extremely hot. So I really like the cool weather. The weather's great. Yeah. Yep, Texas is hot. James Cito with the Downtown Seattle Association says foot traffic is increasing. We had, in terms of total visitors, uh, the highest numbers that we've seen really since before the pandemic. Starting at around May 23rd, the DSA said a seven day count showed that the total visits, including workers, residents, and visitors combined, averaged 380,000 per day. That's more than 2.6 million total over the seven day period. The daily average is the highest counted since the start of the pandemic. We're not even to the peak summer tourism season. And, and so to have those kind of numbers before that, that period hits is really encouraging. We are thrilled to have tourists back in Seattle. At Argosy Cruises, Karen Locke says it's welcome news after the pandemic. Like Business that. is so much better than last year because we finally have the people back. We finally have Seattle reopening. We finally have people wanting to be here. So it's really made us feel a lot better about our company and the area. And office workers are also coming back. James Cito says during that week in May that they were counting, 40% of office workers were back. He says that's the first time they've seen that number since a quick blip, as he describes it, in February of this year. Reporting live in Seattle, Jennifer Dowling, Fox 13 News.